Hi, my name is AK and you're watching the Swashbucklers Arsenal. Today's video is on my technique to adjust patterns to fit me or client. The first thing I'm going to do though is a huge disclaimer. I was not trained professionally. I didn't go to school. I know there is probably a thousand better ways to do this. Um, I've seen some ways where they don't even t cut out the pattern. They just kind of go from, you know, patterns with multiple different sizes. They go from one size to another uh, on different sections. That doesn't make any sense, but if you are seamstress, you know what I'm talking about. So I've seen that. I've seen some seamstresses who are brilliant and can just take measurements and draw a pattern from scratch right there on paper. That's crazy to me and I, I cannot do that. So because I can't do that, I kind of made up my own thing that works for me that I can do and um, that's what I'm going to show you today. I'm showing you three examples. Um, one is adding, um, another is subtracting, and then the third is the armhole. I was editing this video before I did this intro and I realized that I say the other one a lot. So I just kind of want to preface this and explain what the other one is. On a mock-up, you have two of pretty much everything. Or you do have two of everything. I'm trying to think of something you don't have two of. I don't know, but especially with like bodices and stuff, like right now with this blazer, I have two front bodice pieces. I have two back bodice pieces. I have two sleeve pieces. I have two uh, collar pieces. I have two pocket flaps. I have two of pretty much everything. When I'm using this technique, I'll make adjustments on one of those mock-up pieces and then keep the other mock-up piece and I won't mess with it so that it keeps its original shape. So it'll keep the curve of the waist, it will keep the armhole, it will keep everything the way that the pattern is so that I can use it to make sure that I keep those same curves and shapes on the new one while adjusting the size. So what is the technique? Well first you need to take your measurements, you need to figure out how much you need to add or subtract from your garment and in which areas of your garment. Mark those out on one mock-up piece and use the other mock-up piece to keep the shape of the original garment. And that's it. It's pretty simple. I'm hoping that everything makes sense. Um, some of these clips may not. I'm I'm hoping that they do though. Um, it's very hard to film me sewing because I don't have a tripod that can go directly like from above. So this is from a side and hopefully you still kind of get what I'm doing. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark down the adjustments and everything that we need to do with this specific pattern. So for example, this is size 38, which means that it's chest 38, waist 32, and hips 39. All right, and then we take the measurements that we're going for. So um, waist is 30, chest is 35 and a half, and hips are 33. Then we look at how much we need to take off on all of these things. This is um, two and a half inches, two inches, six inches. Um, so on each of the pattern pieces, I'll be subtracting that amount from those areas. All right, now the next thing is obviously going to be um, cutting things out out of mock-up material. And the first thing you need to do is find the hips or find the waist, it's hips right here. Um, and I needed to add three inches total. So that's divided into four because you add to each of the side seams, which is a total of four side seams. So in three quarters of an inch. So I added three quarters of an inch here and then I just kind of like balanced it out across this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut from here all the way around to right here. And then I'm gonna take it from this point because we don't wanna change the waist measurement. We just wanna change the hip point. So I'm just gonna take this and we're gonna take the whole pattern and push it out until it matches with this line here. Okay, so I've cut it out and I've chalked everything on the back and I've taken all of my pins out. So now the only pin I have is here because that's exactly where we want that. And then I'm just going to slide this over until it matches my new measurement for the hips. Sorry, you didn't see that. So it was here and I'm sliding it over to match there. And then I will pin it and cut it. What we have right now is a pretty 
straight line. And when I put the blazer on him, I um, marked out where to bring it in on both sides. So I'm gonna get that mark, which is on the other front piece. So it's right here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay the blazer with the mark over the blazer that doesn't have it. And in order to transfer that, all I'm going to do is match all my corners and then fold. So here's the pin where the mark is. I'm just gonna fold all the excess back and then I'm gonna chalk that line. So then I'm going to use this as a straight line. Now, something to remember is the hip fit. So I don't want the hip to be any smaller. So we're keeping the hips line. And then we need to connect that with the waist. All right, and then we're gonna connect this waist line again to this armhole. Now, another thing that I do whenever I'm adjusting a pattern is I like to keep whatever the shape was that was originally there. This line here is the original shape. If I was just to connect these, then it would have like its own shape. Okay, and then putting my finger here and pulling this down so to match the hip seam and chalking that out. One struggle that I continuously have is with eased sleeves. Once you alter the chest size, you'll end up altering the armhole. So the armhole will be smaller or larger, depending on whether you're bringing it in or taking it out. Um, then the sleeve pattern. The um, armhole, we're gonna bring that down. I have that mark on this one as well. So we're gonna line that up, fold the excess over, and mark that. And I'm gonna try to keep the shape of this armhole by taking this one. We're gonna try to keep this shape of the armhole by taking the other blazer front and laying it down. And then we're just gonna match as best we can those lines. Any changes that you make to an armhole, you also need to make to the sleeve. So keep track of the changes that you make to an armhole. And like I said, I don't know if I'm doing this right. I could be doing this drastically wrong, but I just kind of wing it and um, make it work. And that's my technique. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you have any suggestions or requests for future videos, please comment down below. Um, until next time, bye!